this is Farida Nelson and you're watching homework instructions for lesson 2 music for little Mozart's course. To begin our practice we should open a music discovery book and it's page number 6 and 7. We have hello song here. Uh, it's track number 1 on music discovery C. This is the way we begin our practice. It's a routine introduction song. Um, you can sing the song or you can listen to it and color the page number five. Um, after doing that, we can move straight to our keyboard or piano, whatever you have at home, and then open lesson book, music lesson book, on page six and seven. And here we have little short stories that are um, in the yellow boxes here. So read the story first or turn on uh, music lesson CD uh, track number three. Right below, uh, after you've done this, right below we have three little assignments here. Uh, now, for these assignments you need to read the instructions to your child. So, place Beethoven Bear on the side of the keyboard that makes low sounds. Now, your child already knows where the low sounds are. They are on the left side of the keyboard. And so what they need to do, they need to take the Beethoven, their, their, their plush toy, Beethoven bear, and put him on the side of the keyboard where the low sounds are found. Number two, find low sounds on the keyboard using both hands. So we're going to use two clusters this time. So all ten fingers, both hands, go down on the low side of the keyboard to make low sounds. Like this. So you push them down at the same time, two clusters. And while you're pushing down, you need to say the words, my bear likes low sounds. It's the same thing that is happening in, um, in assignment number three, but in the third assignment, you are using only the left hand. Now, there's a little hint. On every page, you will find that, uh, that little hint. It's in the bottom corner. Now, for a teacher or a parent, it says, now say the word in the rhythm and keep the steady beat. Now, keeping the steady beat is very essential to music playing, so please make sure you're keeping that steady beat. And here is how it goes. My bear likes low sounds. For those of you who cannot read the notes, this um, black head with a stem, uh, this, this is called a quarter note. Now, they get only one beat, so it's one, 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 rest. My bear likes low sounds. So, for example, for the third assignment, you will use only left hand, and you will go, my bear likes low sounds. Rest. So, and then go on to page number seven with high sounds. It's the same as the right side of the keyboard this time. Um, after doing that, we go on page number eight and nine, here, the same, we have a little short story, so read the story first, then go on to the assignments. Some of the assignments, by the way, have a little um, uh, CD symbol there. It means that you can find that same assignment um, on music lesson book CD, track number 8, for example, for page 8, and number 10 on page 9. And <clears throat> the same here. Um, we have a little hint. Now this hint here tells us that to make the activities on this page easier, students may stand and move to the right as they play. Now, that's exactly what we do in the class. So we push the chair in, and then when we play cluster and glissando going up, we walk along. Because it's kind of hard for a, for a little child to kind of, you know, move the hand all the way like this. So they can walk around, I mean, walk along with their hand while they're playing the glissando up and down the keyboard. Now, after you're done doing uh, pages 8 to 9, move back to Discovery Book. Uh, track number 3, it's um, um, page number 10 and 11. Here we have a racing car song. Now, this, uh, turn on the CD, uh, turn on track number 3, and play along with the song. Uh, after each time you hear ready said zoom on that zoom you need to play the glissando all the way up now if the child is saying that it hurts their hand or something they can use their plush toy to do that gently um i don't really like when they do this but it's better than hurting their hand that for sure okay after that we after you played this song it's time to move to the workbook now if the assignments in the workbook 
up to page 9 are already finished, you can use the extra worksheets that I will email to you. Um, they're, they're not, you don't have to like, you don't have to finish them, but if you're running out of um, any kind of writing and coloring activities, you can use those. Um, I do suggest incorporating coloring and um, coloring activities into each practice because children need change every like five, to three to five minutes. Um, now, after doing the worksheets or workbook um, activities up to page nine, please do not go to ten yet. Up to page nine, please go back to music lesson book. Uh, open page 10 and 11 and here we have loud and soft sounds in music. Again, we're going to read the story then we're going to uh, finish all the activities that we have here. Uh, again, we have the steady beat and same for the piano here. Be as enthusiastic about this as you can because the more enthusiasm you show, the more enthusiasm your child is going to have. Now, uh, after doing this, you can uh, play with flashcards. Now you have a set of flashcards. Uh, on flashcard number one and two, you have dynamic signs. Those are the signs of forte and piano, loud and soft correspondingly. Now you can you can play around with them, um, like asking, "Oh, who likes playing forte?" or "Who likes playing piano?" And then play some forte sounds or play some piano sounds. Or think about the animals, what kind of animals make forte sounds, what kind of animals make piano sounds, and so on. After doing that, go back to your workbook, finish page 10 and 11. If it's finished, again, I will be sending more worksheets on piano and forte. Have, um, please have, while we're practicing at home, have some um, um, order. Uh, so we, we start with a song, disc, music discovery book. And then we do lesson book activities, then we color, then again lesson book, and then again we color. And there can be any movement activity somewhere in the middle. Like for example, if you see that the child is kind of frustrated, doesn't want to play anymore, doesn't want to, doesn't want to do lesson book activities, try singing If You're Happy and You Know It, which is track number two on Music Discovery CD. Uh, conclude your practice with a goodbye song, which is track number 25, you can find it at the end of the discovery book. Uh, track number 25, Music Discovery Book City. And that's about it. Uh, if you need any referral to buying uh, or getting a keyboard or a piano, please email me. For now, have a wonderful practice. I'll see you soon. Bye.